There's a lot of buzz on social media. White sugar is bad. Stop consuming it. It leads to many diseases and weight gain. I'm sure you've heard enough about it and are likely to hold an opinion as well. Well, one of the most common questions I am asked is the following. Are alternatives to sugar like brown sugar, honey or jaggery any better? In today's video, we will deep dive into this topic. Trust me, by the end of this video, you will be able to make an informed decision on what you want to consume and why. For this video, I am going to use three parameters to compare all three kinds of sugar. And these are number one, calories. Number two, insulin impact or glycemic index. Third one, micronutrients, their quantity and their allied benefits. Let's compare all three parameters for brown sugar, honey and jaggery and decide which one is the best. First up, the most popular parameter is calories. But wait, before we talk about calories, do you really know what brown sugar is? What is the difference between brown sugar and white sugar? You will be shocked to know. Are you ready? Well, brown sugar is white sugar plus molasses. And what is molasses? Molasses is a byproduct of sugar production which provides zero nutritional benefits in a teaspoon of sugar. So the brown sugar that you've been using as a replacement for processed white sugar, thinking it is better and more nutritive is pretty much the same white sugar with its own byproduct added to it. Wondering why this happens? Well, food marketeers know that people love brown color and automatically associate it with healthy. So, they give you brown bread, brown eggs and now brown sugar. But there is negligible difference between white sugar and brown sugar, neither nutritionally nor calorie wise. The only difference is the color and a little bit of taste. Hence, calories in brown sugar are exactly the same as in white sugar, which is 57 calories per tablespoon. So next time, when you pay extra for the brown sugar or just ask for it, know that you are having white sugar with just some color. Let's talk about calories in honey. Honey, as we all know, is a sweet viscous liquid produced by honeybees. Bees produce honey from the sugary secretion of plants. A tablespoon of honey provides 46 calories, slightly less than sugar and less honey is used as it is sweeter than sugar because it has higher percentage of fructose in it and slightly more water. But I know many people who add extra honey thinking it is healthy. So while it has less calories, eventually a person ends up consuming same number of calories. And finally, now let's talk about jaggery. We all know what jaggery is. It is unrefined sugar made by boiling concentrated sugar cane extract. Jaggery is the source from which processed white sugar is extracted and so no points for guessing that jaggery has the same number of calories as white sugar or brown sugar that is 57 calories per tablespoon. So brown sugar and jaggery give you exact same number of calories. Honey is marginally better, so if you want to switch to honey or jaggery just because they have less calories, then sadly, it isn't true. In a nutshell, it just doesn't matter what you consume, especially in your weight loss journey where calories are of prime importance. Let's talk about the second parameter, which is insulin impact. The insulin impact of any food is measured by its glycemic index or GI, which is a number between 0 and 100, where 100 is the insulin impact of pure glucose. The higher the GI of any food, the higher its impact on blood glucose. Hence, high fiber food has low GI and sugary food has very high GI. Refined sugar, and hence the brown sugar, has a glycemic index of 65. Honey is slightly lower at about 55 and jaggery is actually the highest at about 80. So yeah, on this parameter, jaggery seems to lose out. That's why jaggery is not recommended for diabetic people. And so, here, please understand, honey is again only marginally better than white sugar. Jaggery's GI is higher out of the three. In a nutshell, all of these will cause an insulin spike, especially if you consume them in big quantities. Please remember that. 
Let's talk about the third and final criteria. This is one area where three types of sugar vary quite a bit. Brown sugar, which again is basically white sugar, it is just pure carbs. It goes through a lot of processing and is stripped of all its nutrients, so zero nutrition. Let's talk about honey and its micronutrients now. On the screen, you will see a complete chart of honey and its micronutrients. And as you can see, 100 grams of honey has many micronutrients. Honey is often used in many Ayurvedic medicines and is even supposed to have antibacterial properties. It is believed to have relieving effect on sore throat and other respiratory issues. Now, let's look at micronutrients in jaggery. At a glance, I can tell you that the nutrient profile looks better than honey. Especially for calcium, magnesium, potassium, phosphorus, and iron. Jaggery also has many benefits like it aids in digestion, relieves constipation, has loads of antioxidants, prevents anemia, long list of benefits. So, it makes sense to have jaggery, right? Mm. Looks like you've made your decision on what you will consume and probably will end watching this video right now. But hang on, here's something you need to remember and trust me, you need to know this. If you're watching this video, you're most probably trying to decide which sugar alternate to switch to instead of table sugar. Or you're on a weight loss diet, then you need balanced meals which help you creating a caloric deficit, otherwise weight loss will not happen, right? In either case, it is helpful to remember American Heart Association's recommendation for sugar intake. Ready? Men should consume no more than 90 spoons, that is 36 grams of sugar per day. For women, the number is lower. It is 60 spoons or 25 grams of added sugar per day. In other words, you shouldn't be consuming more than the recommended quantity to stay healthy. Okay? So, here's the thought for you. 100 grams of jaggery does give you 30% of your recommended magnesium intake for a day. But are you really going to consume 100 grams of jaggery that is 570 calories? And if you do that, then not only will you be having lots of calories, but you will also have high glucose levels throughout the day because of high GI of jaggery. Now, think about it. In fact, you know, in my career, in my life, I've seen many people who make the shift to honey or jaggery and start consuming more of these sweeteners thinking they are healthier. And this can actually lead to opposite result of what they hope for. So yeah, all things being equal, switching your table sugar with jaggery or honey will give you some micronutrients, but do not expect it to have any magic on your weight loss front. The calories and the GI are very, very similar. So what should you do? Well, instead work on reducing your sweet craving. Work on portion control. That's the only reliable long-term method of staying healthy. Another aspect that I want you to consider is the following. White sugar is processed, but how pure is the honey that you buy? Most brands mix many chemicals, additives, sugars to it, and ditto for jaggery. Tough call, right? I suggest that you weigh all pros and cons and then decide what is sustainable and healthy for you. Whatever kind of sugar you choose, remember portion control is a must. Make your decision wisely. Hope my video was helpful. If you liked it, then please like, comment, definitely share it with your friends and let me know in comments below what kind of sugar, brown sugar, jaggery or honey what do you want to have or what you have been having also let me know what other topics you want me to cover on my youtube channel and i shall try my best to do that for you till we meet again everyone take good care and bye bye